Hey, Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing something new today. Um, I'm going to review a book. This is something I've been wanting to do on my channel for a little while, and uh, I do read a lot of Star Wars books. Uh, I haven't got through as many this year as I did last year, so... Um, yeah, this is something I really wanted to do. I just finished reading Queen's Peril by E.K. Johnson. This is a prequel to... Uh, let me have a look. Queen's Shadow <laughs> that was released um, a year or two ago now. Um, but yeah, I've just finished reading Queen's Peril. This is sort of set in the lead up to um, Padme's induction into becoming the Queen of Naboo and sort of flows through into the events of uh, The Phantom Menace, uh, which was really good. Uh, definitely aimed at a younger, younger audience and, dare I say, Possibly more female than male, um, but that's okay. I did, I still got a real good kick out of it. Um, it's cool to explore uh, these characters again. Queen Shadow was really good the way way that it went into um, the story with the Handmaidens. This one even more so, and uh, it really got into sort of the recruitment of the Handmaidens with these sort of little chapters of uh, you know little parts of chapters where it's Panaka. Captain Panaka recruiting uh, the handmaidens for all their different resources and abilities and uh, starts really digging deep into their relationships together. Um, and yeah, it's it's just, it's quite a good story. I really enjoyed it. Um, it didn't take me long to read it all, probably to just over a week. Um, and that's just reading for a couple of hours before I go to sleep at night. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, the second half, it very much skips very quickly through the events of The Phantom Menace um, in terms of like Padme's dealings herself um, as Amidala and Sabe's dealings as Amidala because they both, you know, use the Queen's face as they mention in the book. Um, but it does sort of go into the Naboo resistance effort um, in fighting off the Trade Federation and trying to get out. And we do hear that in The Phantom Menace where uh, they're regrouping in the forest when they land back on Naboo to recruit the Gungans. And, uh, yeah, they managed to bring, you know, a, a bunch of people in to help. Um, so it does sort of show how that sort of comes together um, because two of the Handmaidens are left behind on Naboo in uh, The Phantom Menace when they take off to go to Coruscant. Um, and it's all about their efforts more so um in how they were able to build Naboo's resistance to the Trade Federation and their occupation of the planet. Um, there are some cool little tidbits involving like Pal Palpatine Sidious, um, a little bit of Mole, a little bit of Anakin, you know, just little teasers and stuff like that. And uh, it ends with a great chapter which may show the future of of E.K. Johnson's stories with the Queen. Um, and how, how it may progress further. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend having a read of this if you can get a hold of it. Um, not ideal to read Queen's Shadow before. Uh, it's not, not necessary at all. Uh, you could definitely give this one a read. It is predominantly a prequel. Um, that one does set up a lot of characters for you, though, like The Handmaidens, whereas this really jumps in and uh, gets going with it. So definitely check out Queen's Peril by, by E.K. Johnson. I'll show the artwork there. Just uh, yeah, really great read. Definitely recommending this one. It's from uh, Disney Lucasfilm Press. So great book. Definitely recommending. Thanks for tuning in, guys. May the force be with you.